Hi everyone, a green day globally today. Most indices across Asia, Europe and now US are painted green. The S&P VIX has collapsed by nearly 5%, a good sign in general for the market stabilizing. In India, besides the IT index and the PSU bank index, everything else was green. Nifty Auto was being driven by pilots today. It was actually flying. Nifty as an index made another all-time high today. FIIs sold a little. DIIs bought back what they had sold on Friday. Bitcoin is 24 by 7 over the weekend and today it has recovered to 72,000 levels. It was sulking around 66, 67,000 kind of levels last week in the last update. Gold is firmly above 70,000 levels and is now inching towards 71,000. It is in no mood to correct right now. I believe this rally will continue at least till Akshay Tritya. Brent crude is continuing to be above $90. I will probably replace MCX crude again with Brent crude because globally Brent crude is used to measure the volatility in crude. US markets are searching for direction with an upward bias. They are continuing to look for cues. The job data is done. Now they are looking at inflation data which will come soon. In India heavyweights, TCS and HDFC bank both had a breather today. Profit booking in HDFC bank was after about 7 or 8 continuous up sessions. No surprises in the index. Nifty went up and up and up. Slightly after lunch, there was a minor profit booking but then it went up again. The VIX has increased a bit. Volatility is higher than it was last week. Let's talk about what happened in auto today. Technically the numbers for March of this year were lower than March of last year but that was primarily because Navratras last year were in March. This year they start tomorrow. A lot of vehicular buying in this period is done on the auspicious day of Navratra and Ugadi if you are in South India. So the reasons are well known. The demand did not get reduced. It just got postponed because of auspicious reasons to this month. Year on year, still the number of passenger vehicles was more than 8% up, which is great news for the sector. And that reflected in the euphoria for the entire sector. Passenger vehicle wise, Maruti Suzuki is the biggest name that went up the most. This is a snapshot from a video I released earlier today. It shows it shows all the major auto and auto component companies. The top four is what I have called monopolies in my video. Do watch the video which I released about four hours back for more details. I will leave the link in description below. This is a thumbnail for the video. It will be easy to find on the channel. From today, I have tidied up the Nifty 50 table. This particular screen has 25 stocks. Next screen has the next 25 stocks. Reliance was up 1.77%. Bharti Airtel was up. Maruti Suzuki was up. So up and down are very clearly visible here. One new thing I have added is the volume pattern which means are the volumes unusually low or high or more or less the average. So for example, while Reliance had a great day, the volumes were 67% of average volumes, which means the stock was up but on lower volumes. Maruti Suzuki had higher volumes than usual, 104%. Let me jump back to the autograph. Maruti Suzuki, 104%. Tata Motors, up with 58%, Bajaj Auto up with 57% volumes, m, &M 83%. Volumes for Iger Motors were 3x, that is why it did not show properly in the graph. Exide being the largest battery manufacturer is not in the index per se, but it was up around 17-18% on very high volume. The next 25 stocks also mostly green. Nestle corrected a bit, so did most of the IT stocks. Nifty Next 50 again was a sea of greens, most stocks were up. Varun Beverages surprisingly was down today. Public sector banks, I already mentioned the index was down as well. Note that the volumes of certain companies were unusually high. Hevels 177%, Dabur 119%. Overall interesting day, traders are ruling the market. Investors are not sure what to do next. Best idea perhaps is to select stocks that you will see in 10 years, 20 years time also, which will in general do well. If there's a bad period of one month, six months, one year, those stocks will correct a lot, 30, 40%. But let the stocks be so strong that you will have courage to buy lower, average down, collect more in volumes and eventually make a lot of money. This is the same theme I have covered in the new video which I released earlier today. Monopoly stocks. Monopolies will keep on growing bigger and bigger. Yes, the stocks will correct a bit. That happens to each and every stock. No stock permanently goes up. But monopolies over next 5 years, 10 years, 20 years will multiply and multiply your money as well. Do watch the video. Let me know your feedback in the comment section. I'll see you tomorrow.